Okay, so we came out with a new connector system that we're really excited to show everybody. Uh, it's based off of some of the feedback we had from our older connector system. You know, some of the things that they didn't like about it, we got rid of those when we designed it. And we're, we're trying to get as many positive features as possible. They come in 12s and 8s. And you can, you actually can see there's strain relief built into the connector. It's designed for the 24 gauge telephony style wire. So you can pull your wire straight through the strain relief, pull them over the IDC connector, and punch them down. There's a nice familiar punch down tool that we use. It's got some you know, settings for trimming versus not trimming. So you can actually make adjustments to the connector. It's got a tool built in for removal of wires. So you can actually pull, if I can get it out here, your wires out, because there's a, a nice sturdy connection with these connectors. It's one of the issues with our other older style that wires didn't seem to hold in as well. So with these, they're sturdy enough to where it requires a tool to remove them. We found some really nice tricks to be able to keep the wiring neat and tidy. So that's another reason for this design is you're able to tuck the bundles away underneath the connectors and it provides you a, uh, a place to hide that wiring. So one thing to note if you're going to be using this connector system, it's important to fully seat the connector. So you can kind of see I'm going to pull this connector off and when the pins were actually designed uh, in our, you know, when we actually put this thing together uh, on a computer, we have a, a hole here that allows that pin to come through the circuit board. That actually provides positive pressure. So when you put your connector on, you rock it back like this, and you can see it seat down. And you'll see these pins come through. If those pins are not through, it's going to look something like this. And it's very floppy that way. So once it's in place and locked down, then it's nice and you'll feel a nice solid connection. So. For us, uh, we also value kind of easy access for connectors. So when we did our strain relief here for these zip ties, you can see we didn't just zip tie uh, directly in one location. You can see when, when these, this bundle goes back, we zip tied them together at each uh, end of each connector location. And then we actually went to the rest of the bundle two connectors back. Well, what that does is provides a nice rocking capability for the connector to get out of the way. You're not having to deal with this tight, you know, this tight motion here where you're frustrated. Uh, and it's still, even with those additional zip ties, there's minimal uh, fill up of this cavity. So you have a nice lot of room to work with. Something else we recommend is to manage this portion of the loom ahead of time so that it's out of the way of the board that you would need to remove below. So you don't want a lot of interference here. So we, not, we, we basically run this kind of up here and do some more zip ties that help to keep it nice and tucked away. I also recommend rotating the heads of the zip ties down so they don't interfere with the RJ11 connectors or the data connectors. So the mains coming out the side actually do end up looking pretty well with this particular scenario and I recommend rocking this cable back you know, once you're ready to, to, get, to set it, set it uh, into place. You know, rocking this cable back as much as possible to hide it beneath, beneath the, the row of connectors.